Hi ladies, welcome back. Um, so we're going to finish off the hem and I'm going to give you a little tip on my hem finishing. Now the pro, oh no actually this one works quite well. So this is a quarter and a quarter inch hem. Um, so it might not work on other patterns uh, like to get the correct length but if you want a nice neat hem this is how you do it. So this is my uh, blind hem foot. This came with my Janome um, and it has this little tweaky thing here that you can make wider or or narrower and basically you can make it to be whatever um, width you want it to be. Um, and I use this to top stitch, I use this to um, hem, I use this for a lot of things. Anywhere I need my stitch to be perfectly straight and nice, I use that. Um, and the other, the biggest trick, I guess, to do is to, and I'm sure there are loads of people that do this right, I'm not claiming this is my trick, I learned this from a friend of mine. So you overlock your hem and then you use that overlocking because once you put a stitch in it kind of folds over by itself naturally. You use that overlocking to do your quarter inch fold and then fold again. And you, you're, you're using the quarter inches of the overlocking as a guide then to stitch your hem. And basically, whoops, go under. And then I'm using my blind hem foot to line up where I want to stitch. And then you go for it. And then basically I just keep refolding as I go. So I keep my quarter inch all the way around and this really, it honestly, it ends up giving you a really, really nicely, nice neat hem. So I know a lot of other patterns have a, a half inch hem or whatever it is. If you don't mind your dress being a little bit longer, um, I used to suggest you go with this kind of narrow quarter inch hem. It is faster. Um, and if you can't get a narrow a hem, sorry, a, a rolled hem foot to work for you, this is probably your, your next best option. Um, and you don't, you don't absolutely need the blind hem foot. But I'll tell you what, it makes things a lot easier. Um, just because it means you can kind of go fast, you don't have to, you don't have to slow, you don't have to go slow to not, not to keep at your edge kind of thing. Um, and just like that, I am nearly done. And then of course, with any hem or any stitch you make, pressing it really, really, really well after will give you a nice crisp finish and make your hem look perfect. But basically you get this nice neat hem from the outside that's all one width and it's nicely stitched on the inside as well so that's it bye oh now on to buttons so don't let me get too excited because you've still got buttons to go and then you're finished okay bye